see that as well. And this is the guy, I, I forget the name, some, some player that they had there, uh, Messi. He's, this was the guy. That's what everyone wants to know. Everyone's wanted to know it for years and still haven't well, really managed it. I was in a team that tried it a couple of times and didn't, didn't come off. <laughs> so, um, listen, um, he'd be in, in the conversation we're talking about the best players to ever play football. So, he's someone I think there's no individual that can deal with him. It's a team effort. You've got to have two and three players around to stop him. Stop him getting the ball, put people around him, stop the ball coming into him. And then when he gets the ball, then you've got to have people that are on him. I, I never say Messi is the special one in here because everything he does, he does all the time. When Messi has the ball, 1-1-1, one, 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 you are dead. God of football it is impossible to stop. How do you deal with a player <laughs> like Messi? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are talking about the best player in the world, Messi has the capacity to solve the situation and uh, to, to create a chance when uh, you you are not seeing the chance to, to score. It's muito muito difícil de você enfrentá-lo porque é um jogador que por mais que você estude você nunca vai entender a qualidade que ele tem e a diferença que ele pode fazer. Em determinados momentos você acha que ele vai fazer uma coisa, ele tira uma outra coisa da cartola e faz uma coisa que você não imagina que ele faça. Para mim é um maior jogador da história, maior jogador que eu já vi jogar. We never really controlled Messi, but many people have said that anyway. A ver, teniendo un futbolista como Lionel que está en un momento extraordinario, está claro de que no hay estrategias que puedan controlar algo que todos queremos controlar y es imposible porque es una cuestión natural que tiene él. When we play him, you notice like what a player he is. There's not many situations where you come off the pitch and you go, we talk like the children. I know it's not, we're not in awe of him, but you've just got to be honest. Because <laughs> you just see the guy wandering around, totally oblivious to the game sometimes, and then all of a sudden, bang, just... And he's, and he's creating something or he's scoring. You know, he, last year he put one past me, he came across the box and he and he like dubbed it with the outside of his foot kind of here. But he knew exactly what was going on. Who was tougher to play against? I think it has to be Messi. Obviously people talk about the Ronaldo comparison more because I played against him more, but no, I think to Mark Messi was, you know, on his day he, he, he was too good for me. How will you stop him? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I think Messi is the best player in the world. I think he deserves it as long as he plays. Um, so the Ballon d'Or is not something I, I'm definitely thinking of. So I think he's still the best player in the world. Doesn't matter if he's not in the Champions League final, yes or no. Yeah, in his moments he's unstoppable, obviously. We, cannot, we couldn't defend the free kick. <laughs> what a strike. I knew before that Neil and Lionel is a world-class player and now I saw it again. I'm not too surprised, to be honest. Lionel is for me the best. That's a fight with the shirt of Messi. That you under the rust and a shirt from your tegenstander can ask. Who that then also is. If you're the best of the world, Ja, dan snap ik dat je het shirt vraagt, maar dan ga je niet onder de rug. Het is incredibel, het is wel heel erg. Het is niet nodig dat het niet partido a partido hoe het juega. Het is het mejor del mundo en bueno, ya todos lo saben. Het is een mooie camiseta die me la estuvo pidiendo mi, mi padre, si no se la llevaba, me mataba. The hardest player you've come up against? I think Messi again. <laughs> Because <laughs> last year we, we played against him in Champions League. He was more than good. I think. Yes. I think. Yeah, because when I was coming close to him, I was looking, oh, this guy, I don't want to put the ball on because my father, my brother, my family, they were looking at me, they were, yeah, even him. And me, when I was coming close, I said, no, no, please. <laughs> I think Messi, when, uh, when we played against Barcelona, when he was very, very special that day. This is possibly one of the most embarrassing nights of my life. The thing about him is that he doesn't even, doesn't even come near you. So you actually, me and Vidic stood on the halfway line once at Wembley and looked at each other and just went, we were losing, like, and we were standing there thinking, I've not even touched anyone, not even got anywhere. If you're a defender in a game, you want to get near people, or at least get the ball. We didn't have the ball, and I didn't get to put my hands on no one to, to rough up or anything like that. And the problem is, is, when you did get close to him, he was that small and quick, he was going underneath. <laughs> so I, was, I was like, I was trying, normally, normally you go out and hit someone yeah. in the chest, and he was just going underneath it, and I was thinking, this guy, he's a magician. He's the best player I've played against. I would say that he qualcosa di, di speciale, veramente anche l'altro, l'altro fuori classe, però Messi quando ti puntava era più difficile. Diciamo che Messi è, ti fa 10 scatti in 10 minuti e lì ti stronca perché lui magari ti, ti giri e ancora sta sudando, sta iniziando a sudare, tu sei conto come e poi te ne fa un altro. 
è quello, poi sempre porta palla, porta palla. The difficulty with him is not he's not always in the game, you know, but when he's in it, he's really dangerous. His team gets in on the run with the ball and once he's on the run with the ball, uh, he's unstoppable. He's the only player who uh, can change direction at such a pace and uh, be afraid. For me, he's the best player in the world and by, uh, by the distance. As a goalkeeper, what is it like when he's coming towards you, when you know he can do virtually anything? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in this situation he has to uh, try to anticipate to what, what uh, he's going to do. But it's, it's so difficult because he can do whatever he wants uh, at any moment. And uh, it's difficult to stop this, this kind of players. Is he probably the best you've ever faced? As a player, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. No tener el estado que está ahora en estos últimos cuatro o cinco meses no, no se le para no hay sistema defensivo no hay entrenador son demasiado es demasiado bueno he's the best player of all time we can put him with Pele but I never saw a boy like him and I believe we won't see another for a long time the only way you can deal with him is by keeping the ball from him as much as possible I don't have another way of dealing with such a talent there is no other way I would say defending Messi one on one it's not possible. It's not important that you prepare the game if you have him from Messi. If Messi won, he should 3 nil for for the the team that involved Messi. But what is it like being an opponent? Well, you know, it's being on the other side. I, I, he's an attacking player and I'm an attacking player, so I don't have to defend him. Messi has to know, you know, he can change a game in, in a second. Sometimes you, if you look at him on the pitch, it's like he's outside of the game yeah, yeah it's like he's not you know paying attention of anything but in any second he can score so that's why when you have the opportunity on your side if you have a chance try to score as many goals as you can because you never know what's going to happen if he wakes up para mí el mejor del mundo y bueno yo creo que temerle creo que le temen muchos as players you want to play against the, the best players in the world and, and Messi is certainly that yeah he's, he's a fantastic player and I'm sure uh, we'll do our best to, to stop him. What's it like being out on the pitch with him, one-to-one? -one? Yeah, these are the games you know you want to be involved in. You know, um, you know, you dream of playing in games like this, and especially against players like Messi. So, yeah, he was, um, you know, he was unbelievable in the game, and um, he was lucky they didn't get a couple more goals. But um, yeah, we all know the, 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 the quality of player that he is, and you know, it's just uh, sometimes just magic to watch. A parte Messi, che un extraterrestre, 